to me to capital G here got a really quick duel for you guys to check out looks like we got Cosmo and it is a uh, it's a demise artifact build which is really not that outside of the norm it's gonna be taking on unchained well actually you know this is a, uh, a different build of unchained this is actually the uh, evil eye unchained build I've seen this before basically the concept is as I've said in the past very similar to like true Draco unchained where you're playing the evil eye cards because when Sergio has to blow up something on your field you can blow up the uh the hakai cards or the unchained cards and then they can summon monsters so it's kind of the same concept i kind of feel like this is not a great matchup for unchained because uh the cosmo dark ships like the big ones you can't target them and uh, we know that Sergio has to target stuff also the unchained monsters when they go to link summon using your opponent's monsters that's targeting as well so we'll see if the Unchained player can win a, what I would consider a bad matchup. So, Sergio is going to be the normal summon, of course, and then going to get the Selene. Going to blow up one of those Unchained cards and then go straight into the Link 2. Not bad, not bad. Going to set in permanence as well. Looks like the uh, Cosmo player did open up with the uh, Allure Darkness card of demise and hit a pot of duality. So, <laughs> you basically get whatever you want and draws into another duality or excuse me, draws into another card of demise, which is set. The problem with this is your opponent knows exactly where that card of demise is because it's the last card in your hand that you set. So they can easily snipe it. They don't even have to like second guess it or anything like that. Anyways, we'll see if that hurts them. You can see the offense is kind of on the side of the uh, evil eye player, but this is the problem. This is what I talked about. The second they get that dark destroyer on field, it's going to blow up a monster. And now you can't attack over it. You can't pop it with Sergio. You can't trip or you can't link summon using it. So it's kind of a problem. In addition to that, Call of the Haunted is going to be used. He's actually going to chain Trap Trick. He's going to get another Dark Destroyer, which will target a monster, and then activates Cosmojo, which can get rid of another card, and that's non-targeting, which unfortunately is what the Evil Eye player actually needed. Now, Sergio would not be able to be targeted as long as it had the Selene, but, you know, obviously, Cosmojo don't target, so he can easily out it. Let's see what he's going to do with that Strong Man. This was a player's, I guess, a judgment call, right? Because the thing about it is, you're in a position where game state's kind of even. I wonder if you just go ahead, because he summoned the strong man off of the uh, Dark Destroyer. But my thing is, wouldn't you rather just use the Demise? Like, maybe you set the Allure Darkness, you use the Demise, and you draw three cards. And if there are spells and traps, you're so far ahead of your opponent. When you use this strong man, sure, you can get a Dark Destroyer, but I feel like it's probably not worth it. You need to use the Demise at some point, And I kind of feel like the better or the quicker you use it, the better, because otherwise you're opponent you know has a chance of answering it he is going to go for that it's going to be answered with impermanence that's unfortunate because now you cannot even attempt to use the um the card of demise since you did try to technically special summon he ends up getting another impermanence which could actually lock out that strong man again <laughs> we'll see if he wisens up and uses the demise this time he's, he's still not going to use it he's just going to get impermanence again he is going to tag out for dark lady which uh, is actually a card that's susceptible to being popped by Sergio. Sergio will target it dark lady says nah fam we're not going to have any of that today and we'll actually go ahead and take it out although he just he can't stop these uh like he can't stop the dark destroyers i mean his monster is not destroyed by battle but he doesn't have a way of stopping this damage we'll see if this maybe can be his last stand Okay, so he did top deck an Unchained card, and he is going to blow up his spell. Dark Lady is going to be used. This is interesting because he's going to destroy the Doggo, but that's just going to reborn the Link 2. And now he can actually Link Climb since he has a monster or monsters on field that can be targeted this time. The Link 3 can actually, uh, he can Link using one of his opponent's monsters. So bye-bye Slip Rider. And now he can run over Dark Lady and pop both of the back row. Obviously, the, uh, the Evil Eye Link 4, it pops during the end phase and also if it runs over something in battle then it gets to destroy another card because something was destroyed on the field he unfortunately does end up hitting an artifact which is not really relevant at this point because he's already special summoned from this extra deck a bunch of times but it does give his opponent another monster the interesting thing is this duel has kind of been flipped where the evil eye player is actually like they're slightly in this duel a lord darkness can you know potentially change that because they could top deck a ship and draw two more cards we'll see exactly 
Oops, we'll see exactly where this is going to go. The top deck is going to be Forerunner, which is not actually something good. Actually, you know what? I don't think it actually matters. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, it didn't matter. I totally forgot that um, he could just crash his Dart Destroyer into the uh, the the Unchained Link 4. That means he can get Farm Girl from his deck. The uh, Artifact Scythe is going to run over the copy of Cersei. Yeah, what was his face down? Okay, this is the one that stops spells and traps. Yeah, that wasn't going to do anything. Maybe if this card, see, if this card stopped monster effects, like I said, it should have, he would have been all right because he would have been able to stop the effect of the Dark Destroyer. But I guess he just really couldn't get his offense going. You know, that that's, um, this duel actually kind of showcases why it's important to have non-targeting removal in your deck because if you look at this uh, matchup both of these decks can routinely put monsters on the field that do that cannot be targeted but you know in this matchup cosmo they have cosmojo that was kind of like the big difference in the duel because if sergio would have just been able to sit there chilling in defense mode maybe it could have been a problem but uh that cosmojo off of the uh the trap trick was definitely clutch anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the short duel if you did get the video a thumbs up Thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.